This is a homage beat. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite gentleman, Dapper Douglas, man. Come on, come on. Now listen, this might be on the shorts, maybe Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Listen, hurry up and come over for the full video on YouTube, man. We talking pocket squares. Now, for those of you who are on YouTube, do you have these in your collection? This right here is the quintessential piece to pulling off your blazer, suit jacket, or sports coat, right? The pocket square is so essential because it helps clean the glasses, get the flakes out of your nose, and if you got a cold or you get the chills and you got a sneeze, what better way to catch it with the pocket square than using your sleeve or using it in your hands, right? So, I want to give a quick backdrop and dedicate this video, man, to a very special individual. Shout out to my guy, Boye, a.k.a. Zach Ferguson, man. Uh, a little backdrop on he and I. We met at Barry Plastics. I had to relieve him on the line. Now, the key word is plastics, okay? If you had anything in your house, plastic, it pretty much came from this factory, right? From uh, your waste paper baskets, the... The, uh, the, the, the trash bags, um, your toothpaste, um, capsule thingy that ever holds that in there. Anything plastic came from here. Well, anywho, um, we were on this line that makes the lids for all of your uh, restaurant pops or whatever. And um, it was hit or miss because they came out on this conveyor like in these little sleeves. And sometimes the sleeves were strong enough to hold them. If not, they would just burst open and you had this big pile of mess on the floor, but you had to keep going to put them in the box and can, you know, stack your skid or whatever. So I'm getting ready to relieve this dude. And as soon as I come through the, uh, the doorway to this big, this gigantic room, because, you know, they had all these lines and these huge machines, you know, pumping all this uh, mold and wax and getting these things. I guess they called it, um, what's the terminology for that? resin or whatever this material was that made the plastic i'm looking at this dude dead in his face man and he looking at me like this and i'm like bro this is gonna be a long night i already gotta work like 10 hours and i gotta relate this dude he got this huge mess on the ground man so anywho long story short we've been cool ever since and on our breaks we would always talk about fashion and you know just try to build rapport and commonality between he and i and fashion was one of them so I think one day we met at uh, Joseph A. Bank or Men's Warehouse, one of the two, and we was just trying on uh, sports coats, things of that sort, and we always talked about the pocket square. So I want to dedicate this video to him. Now, as you see what I have on, if you've been watching this, I am an accessory guy. Lapel pin, I don't have a tie on or a tie clip, but I do have the lapel pin, I have the pocket square, of course the watch, and the uh, cufflinks, right? So my style is a mixture of the inception fold and the three pedals fold, okay? Now, um, in, in concert, and I'll show you the steps, normally what I do is I go ahead and flare this thing out, perfect square, and you just find your center point, throw your finger in the middle, right give it a little fold insert into the pocket voila and you're out the door right now there's a lot of folds that you can do uh you have the twisted rows you got the summit fold you got the spiral staircase you got the scallop fold you have the uh peacock fold it's a bunch um, I can link into the description box or you can Google or YouTube the tutorials to doing folds and just find out your style, right? So other than that, man, uh, you can hit Amazon up or any of your favorite department stores. Grab you a bunch. I prefer Amazon because I got like 30 of these for like 20 bucks. Can't beat that, right? Add it to your repertoire. Start stuffing them into your jackets. Now, this is subjective, okay? Now, I normally match mine with whatever color I'm rocking, but you can offset it too, as far as like contrast or whatever too. Maybe if you have yellow socks on, you put the yellow one on and then, you know, you may cross your leg. People be like, okay, I see what he's doing. Or you can be like my man Fred Jones from the Scooby-Doo show, right? He had on a white sweater, blue dress shirt, and then he had a, uh, what was it? What was it? Apricot or Ascot or whatever, like the little thing you tie around underneath, it was orange. He was swaggy with that. So, hey, it's all up to you, right? Anywho, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Now, 
we are still on to a thousand subs across all the platforms, right? So if you like these types of videos, I focus on fashion, fragrance, grooming, practical advice from a believer as a Christian, right? So if you like that, if that sounds good to you, hey, consider liking the page, subscribing and giving the follow and sharing these videos too. Now, I should have been at a thousand already on Facebook, but we had to go through that account because I got hacked, had to vet people too. Listen, it's some boring people out there. Now, I'm adding you to the prayer list because some of y'all freaky deaky, right? So we had to vet. Listen, I don't want to see your butt cheeks, your breasts, none of that, right? Proverbs 5 and 18 tells me to let her breast satisfy you at all times. If you know what that means, you can't fail an open book test. Go ahead and tie the knot, man, to quit being hard-headed before the Lord comes back, right? It's up to you at that point, right? So any, anywho, God bless you guys. Thank you for your ears, your eyes, watching this video, man. Until next time, peace.